Hey, what is up guys, Eric here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full review of the Garmin Pilot app by Garmin. Now, before we start off, I want to tell you guys that I am not a registered VFR or IFR pilot. Um, I don't, I, you know, I only know the basics from Flight Simulator because I do have X-Plane. So this is what I fly this with. So in no way is this going to be any sort of professional review. I'm just reviewing it from my experience and uh, how I use it. So first off, this app is the real deal. It has, you know, it connects with the GPS in your device and it can really be used um, in a VFR, you know, flying scenario if you really want to use it for flying. So. I use it with X-Plane and the way I do this is by downloading an app called uh, X-Plane to GPS and then from that I just I connect it with you know from to X-Plane and then I just output it to the app so in no way am I uh, I don't have any like real pilot experience and stories with this app so that's something to take into consideration so Let's just go ahead and get started. Over here, you can see um, I am. I do have the GPS on. <clears throat> sorry, in uh, an airport called um, KSEA, which is in Seattle, and I'm going to navigate to um, the nearest airport called KBFI. So you can see it is actually. I'm at KBFI. I'm going to navigate to. You guys can see how simple it is to use this app, by the way. I'm going to navigate to um, Renton, which is only four nautical, four and a half nautical miles away. So I'm going to, you can see it draws like a line out for me um, to show my route that I need to follow, as well as my bearing and course. And this for me is the most important uh, information, and it's probably the most important information for other pilots. And, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and take off right now to show you guys how the map works and how it moves um, and you guys will be able to see that so I'm just going to take off I have everything on mute so you guys can uh, hear me talk but if the Mac was loud I mean if I had the sound on you guys would hear it so you can see um, I'm just going to zoom out a little you guys can see the plane is moving and I'm just going to center it on screen here as well as zoom in a little you guys can see um, I'm just I'm flying on the route right here I'm navigating the airplane to follow the route one second right here yeah okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put the plane on autopilot for a second and I'm going to change my bearing to uh, correspond with the bearing that uh, the app is telling me. So it's telling me that I need to travel at 110. That should be my bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill that in. So I'll make it 110. And by the way, if you are wondering, I am flying a Cessna 172. So that is my aircraft. And I am actually flying in the wrong direction right now so I'm just gonna fix that right here 110 all right we're at 111 okay so um I'm flying right now and I'm on autopilot so I can really show you guys what, what I see here first of all it has my uh, altitude which is really important if I want to come in for a landing quick um and uh, you know in case I need that I'm going to turn right a little because I want to be on course. So I'm just going to change my bearing manually. And um, we're going to test this out. So as soon as I get back, I'll change it back. <clears throat> so basically, you guys can see that it shows my navigational path, um, the path I need to be following. And then you have this whole set of other... Um, other details and information that's useful for what you guys can do. So over here, of course, it has my bearing, my course, 
And of course, these are the most important things. It also has my distance away, and it also has um, my uh, ETA, my estimated time of arrival. So that's actually really important for some pilots to have because, um, you know, it, it just gives them good information. I'm going to change my bearing to 110 so that we don't go off course. And now I'm just going to maintain my position on the purple. Well, I'm sorry if some people are watching and they don't uh, understand, but what can I do? It's a review and whatever. So, um, as you can see, it's really, really simple to use this app. Of course, if you want to navigate to a different place or you want, you can, of course, add waypoints in here. So if you, if you knew, you know, waypoints that you want to fly over, you can, of course, fill those out. Um, and you can see the nearby airfield. So if you're in flight and you have like some sort of error, you can navigate to the nearest airfield and, uh, and do that. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when I land and I'm just going to land. Now, I, you know, I've flown this route, um, tons of times. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to land and I'm going to show you, you know, what it's like. I'm going to explain to you guys throughout it. So I'm going to, you know, lower my pitch right here and I'm going to go ahead and land. So one second here. I'm actually taking the plane out of autopilot right now because I need to land. So one second. Now I've been using this app for a good couple of months now and I really have to say that using this app with X-Plane has been a phenomenal experience and um, you know of course the app costs money and the first month that I had it with uh, the first month, sorry, the first month that I um, used it, I I was using it for free, and then I got a review sample. So, um, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do now, um, but I think I'm going to buy it or, or spend money on it because that way um, I'll be able to use it freely. So I'm going to go ahead and force myself to land here. Um, now you can see I'm spinning around the field, and it actually does have a pretty accurate um, pitch information. When I, whenever I turn it, it follows right away, and uh, you can see my altitude is dropping here. So we're gonna try and not crash, but you can see I'm just gonna circle around the runway until I get into a good position. I'm actually doing a vertical landing as best I can. I don't want to crash and die, but sometimes you just have to do that. Um, and and um, that's the app. I mean, it's very enjoyable to use. I've had no problems with it, and uh, that's it. And you know what? I'm actually going to land in the sea right now just for this video. Six, I'm going to fly over into this blue river right here and you can see that it says that I'm on course but I'm actually flying into the river right now and I'm losing altitude here I'm gonna go ahead and end the direct to so you guys can get an accurate see of what I'm doing here um you, you know I'm going to land in the sea for you guys so hope I don't die. Well, I probably would die if this was, you know, real. But in the meantime, I'm not dead. So I'm just going to land right now. Forcing myself down. And I am dead. I'm not dying yet. I'm still hovering. Now I'm going to die. Okay, 175, come on, let's go, let's die already. Here, I'm gonna turn myself upside down and then kill myself. All right, so I am dead and you can see X-Plane ended it, so it brought me back to a runway and now I'm back. But that's the app, I mean, it's very cool, very interesting to use. You got these tools and you can make it, you know, all types of layers and maps. It's very easy to use. Um, that's all, of course. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and uh, have a great day.